Hello folks and welcome. As you might know, most of the modern vehicles have electronic accelerator pedals. They look something like this. This is my Astra H electronic accelerator pedal. You might ask, what is this part doing outside of my vehicle? Well, I'll try to explain. In some extremely rare occasions, my car throws out engine check error and it enters service mode which as you might know is extremely painful for, for the driver by extremely rare occasions I mean once in let's say five months today the car did exactly the same so I've connected my engine diagnostics to see if there were any stored errors so I found errors related to the position of the accelerator pedal and more specifically to the positions of the two potentiometers inside the accelerator pedal. So my plan is to open this plastic cup that is covering the two potentiometers and see what's their condition if possible to repair them if they are fine to search the problem someplace else. In most of the cases the accelerator pedal has two sensors inside which are realized with two separate potentiometers. The two potentiometers have separate 5 volt power sources and separate grounds. The sensors are using incremental voltage to deliver information to the engine control unit. So let's open and here we are. Now here we can see the two parts of the sensors of the potentiometers, the printed circuit board and this lever here with the four contact plates on it. Those plates are moving over the contact board and while changing position they are changing the resistance of the potentiometers respectively their voltage drop. So the pinout of the circuit board is as follows first 5 volt power source second 5 volt power source signal wire of the first potentiometer first ground second ground signal wire of the second potentiometer in most cases like in this one here the second potentiometer is giving two times the value of the first so if we are reading 1.5 volts on the first, we should be reading 3 volts on the second plus minus 50 millivolts. Bigger difference of 50 millivolts will trigger an error code and respectively we will get uh, this engine check light and uh, the car will enter service mode. So my plan is to clean the printed part of the potentiometers with some sort of alcohol based cleaner. Now let's try to remove the printed circuit board. This can be done by using two screwdrivers with one you have to elevate this part of the board and with other screwdriver you have to push it like this and here it is this part of the accelerator pedal can be bought like uh, like spare part you can find such on eBay or maybe even in your 
local car parts store. Uh, as you can see, there really is somewhere on the surfaces of the potentiometers. Not sure if that really is the problem. Maybe, just maybe. This contact plate of the first potentiometer is a little bit lower than it should be. Or, yes, it seems that a little bit lower. Now it seems both contact plates are in the same horizontal position. After cleaning the printed circuit board with some alcohol based cleaner, I'm planning to reinsert it. But first, let me push these contact pins a little bit lower so they can increase their surface tension over the printed board and make better contact. You never know what might be the culprit of the problem. Now let's reinsert. And here you go, it's in position. Nothing else. That I can do here, so I'm planning to close. The accelerator pedal, one more look at the surface, at the contact surfaces of the potentiometers, <laughs> cleaning out any possible dust and closing it. All done. Now, the only thing left for me is to install this on my car and then connect my engine diagnostics. Uh, there is a sub menu in it where I can check the voltage change of each one of the potentiometers when I press or depress the accelerator pedal 
and if there is still some sort of fault inside I'm pretty sure I will be able to discover it so that's from me for now guys thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video bye